Let's talk about that 12 hour forecast. It does feature the risk of shower and thunderstorm activity for today. I don't think it's going to rain in any one location all day, but we have to keep the risk of rain in the forecast all day long. And perhaps even a few stronger storms may be able to develop later today and into tonight. Notice that we're seeing some pockets of moderate rainfall right along 64 heading into St. Matthews. We're also seeing some of those showers just outside Hurstbourne and Jefferson Town. You're getting in on a shower as well. Pockets of heavy rainfall moving across portions. You can see here of far western Jefferson County moving into Shawnee, the Parkland area. You're seeing some soaking showers also for our friends in New Albany here this morning. When we take a look at the big picture here, you'll also notice that we're seeing some of those showers passing through out areas of PRP, Waverly Hills, and for our friends in Valley Station this morning. Hodgenville getting in on some of that rainfall as well. So again, you can see, grab the rain gear as you're heading out the door for today because we'll see some rounds of shower activity for today. Morning hours, some scattered showers. I think we'll also most likely see some shower activity later this afternoon and for tonight. We still have some timing and placement complications with this batch of shower and thunderstorm activity for tonight. Some of the models want to bring it in a little bit farther off to the north and to the east. I just want you to be aware we have the potential of a couple of warnings that may be issued later today and into tonight. So nothing widespread, but just something to keep in mind. I think we'll see some isolated showers and storms potentially on Tuesday and then during the first part of the day on Wednesday, another opportunity of our seeing some showers and storms. We're going to call it a severe alert day because there may be a few warnings that could be issued for today. Highs in the mid 80s. Then for your Tuesday and Wednesday, it is going to be hot and muggy with some isolated showers and storms possible on Tuesday. Morning showers and storms on Wednesday, perhaps an isolated storm by your Wednesday afternoon. Some isolated storms will be possible on Thursday, but I think the big story on Thursday will be the heat. It'll most likely feel like 100, maybe as warm as 105 degrees on Thursday. Some scattered showers and storms on Friday with highs in the lower 90s. Then some lingering showers and storms possible on Saturday, also with a high of 90.